Hey, welcome back to Completely Random. My name is Karen, and uh, in this video, I will be doing my 30 day review of October's BoxyCharm and Birchbox products. And thankfully, there's only the month of October. I know, I know. I'll pat myself on the back. Just relax. Um, I don't know. A lot's been going on. I had two job interviews today, so I'm really, really hoping and, you know, keeping my fingers crossed. Um, I just don't know anymore. Like, I can't ever tell. Do they like me? Do they not like me? They ask me a bunch of questions, and I'm all, like, staring off into space, like, what? Uh... And the other one, it was almost like a conversation. So that was better than like the little, I don't know, get to know you questions. I hope, but, I, but with that being said, I hope I did well on both. Because, um, you know, both places, honestly, I would enjoy, I think, working at. Um, one especially. Um, so keep me in your thoughts and prayers for that to work out. Um, I need some, I need some good luck. How about that? Um, what else did, oh, and I just got back from a, a few days in Florida visiting uh, my best friend uh, who moved down there. Um, so it was always good to touch base with her and to see her after months and months and months of not being able to. Um, so I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed my visit there, but I had to get back because of the job interviews. I didn't want to um, I didn't want to pass up on, you know, any of those opportunities, but it was great. It was really, really great. And Florida to me, I don't know, I think it was probably in the 60s, 70-ish, -ish, maybe on a day or something. And to me, like one day it was still really, really hot, like warm. Um, I just like was kind of sweaty and wearing like capris and like a t-shirt and when I look around people are in like sweatshirts and winter coats and scarves and I'm there like this is kind of like a hot spring day for me and I drove so that was like 10 and a half hours and you know I'm in the Hoosier state and you know I know we all think we have Hoosier hospitality and I guess we do some of us um, and we're crazy drivers like you know when you want to merge over they don't want to let you over because you know you almost like literally sometimes in rush hour you have to like force your way in like okay you're not gonna let me in I'm gonna have to get over like the, it's ending it's coming to an end here I need to get over let me over like that's my big thing and then of course riding riding your rear end that's like another big hoosier thing like so we are a mess i'll just start out by saying that but i had i hit rush hour traveling through nashville tennessee okay i feel like the tennesseans is that even the right word for them i feel like when they wake up instead of having wheaties for breakfast i feel like they have cocaine like they're like cutting it up and they're like, I'm ready to hit the road. Yes, because I feel like their steering wheels are turning and they just blindly get over. It's like all of a sudden you're like, hello, I'm here. And they're just like, mm, mm. I don't even think they look. I don't think they check their mirrors. I just, I don't know how heaven help them. I don't know how they make it to and from work every day, but it's just kind of like, they're like all over the place. They just dart in and then they dart out. But then yet they don't want to merge up. Like, so they don't have the Hoosier experience. Like, you better get your ass off that ramp and merge into traffic. But in Tennessee, man, they're like chugging along, taking their time. Like, come on, hurry up, get over. I'm letting you in. I'm doing my Hoosier hospitality and I'm not even in the Hoosier state. <sighs> I'm telling you. I'm sure Tennessee people watching this like, how dare she say that we take cocaine and drive? I'm just saying y'all's on something, okay? Crazy. Crazy. Like speeding and then just... I'm like, like, I know you didn't. I know you can see me. Like, I know you can see me. 
Whew. So I survived that. I don't know how, but the grace of God, guardian angel, fate, wasn't my time yet. And then I went through like Alabama. <sighs> oh, Bama. I don't know. I don't know. I it, It's like the fast lane, it's kind of the slow lane. And then the slow lane was kind of the fast lane going through there. Like I'm telling, they're just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sweet home Alabama. I'm in the fast lane going 45. I just, I, I, I don't know. And then they like follow your rear end like they're drifting. Like we're in NASCAR. Like we're doing laps or something. Like they have to drift with me or something. And then I would like, you know, the fast ones. <laughs> the few and far between fast ones. So I would get over and, you know, but then they're kind of like, no, 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 no. Come on back over. Be my guest. And I'm like, no, 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 honey. No. Because you just want to drift. Like we're in freaking... NASCAR. It doesn't work for me. It, it just doesn't. So they were kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, so that was my experience. I mean, just they would just ride my rear end like we were drifting in NASCAR. Fast lane equals slow lane. Slow lane equals fast lane. Just remember that for when you go through there because God knows I went through the whole freaking state of Alabama. And I think that was the first time in my life, too, that I'd ever seen like cotton fields. Like I look over... And I'm like, what the fuck? Cotton? Is that cotton? Cotton field? Yeah. So my, I mean, that's a deep south. I don't know. I'm a Midwesterner. And I just don't know. I love. Now, let me take that back. Now, Tennessee is gorgeous. I probably wouldn't survive the drivers there and the cocaine habit. I couldn't afford it, for one. Um... But it's beautiful. North Carolina. Beautiful. I didn't have to go through the Carolinas. Because, I, I mean, I didn't go to Georgia. I went to this part of Florida that's closer to Florida. Uh, Alabama state line. So I went a different way. Um, but I've been through all that. And I thought, man, Tennessee and North Carolina are just beautiful. Going through the mountains. It's gorgeous. Hands down, love, love, love. But then the further south you get, the more beachy it gets. And I, you know... I'm a big girl. I don't tolerate the heat well. And, and it was comfortable weather. And the beach there was so pretty. It had like the, uh, in Pensacola or, or Perdido Beach or Bay. Um, it was just very fine and white and beautiful. And the water was really pretty. So, I mean, it was gorgeous. It's great to go for a moment, but not, not for me to move there. No, I would melt. I would melt. In the summer, I totally would have a breakdown. But I was able to try um, beignets when I was there. Um, and they were delicious. And I also tried some delicious macar macaroons. Um, what else did I have? Oh, I had a wine smoothie. Mwah! It was like a dream come true. Like I need a wine smoothie every day of my life now. Like regular wine just doesn't even do it for me anymore. I'm like, no, 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 I don't. I don't want a glass of wine. I want a wine smoothie. So I'm gonna make my own. I am, I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna make my own because mwah, it's delicious and I must have it every day. So that's kind of been my whirlwind of a few days. So yeah, now you're all caught up. Aren't you glad I shared? It's already been like nine minutes in. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's just get started. Okay. I'm going to do Birchbox October. That products first because they're kind of sorted closer to me this time. The first thing um, is this Malin and Goetz uh, Vitamin E Face Moisturizer. And the full size is $50. And um, in one of the other boxes that I recently tried, I had the face wash of this and I loved it. It worked great for my sensitive skin. It didn't break me out. And this works great with my skin as well. It doesn't make me feel oily. It doesn't break my face out. Um, like I love 
this product, but it's so pricey. Like at the price tag of $50, I mean, that's what's kind of bad about Birchbox because some of the little samples like are so expensive. It's just out of my price range. Like I can't go around thinking, you know what I would like? A $50 moisturizer along with a $50 daily facial cleanser. I ain't got that kind of money, but if I did and I was spoiled, I probably would. The next thing was a sample of perfume, clean, and the full size is $40. Um, perfume is um, expensive anyway, but it smells really, really good. And it um, really does just smell like a clean rain uh, type of smell. Um, I, try, I did wear it a few times, but then one time I got too much on and I was like, Whoa. so I'm sure when I went in, you know, that day, people were like, oh. <laughs> so a very small, small amount of this goes a very long way. Um, so yeah, I plan on finishing up the sample. I don't really know if I would spend forty dollars. No, I'm more of a Bath and Body Works type of spray, but I've I've said that before. But I, you know, I do enjoy the scent of it and. For me to find a perfume that actually smells good and that I would actually wear, that is a big thing. So you got that going for you. Uh, the next thing was this Lise Wattier Intense Waterproof Eyeliner, Black as Black, full size is $24. And um, you know, it glides on, it's very smooth going on if you like eyeliner. Um, but $24, no, and eyeliner's a no for me anyway, but it is a good product, so check it out. What was the next thing? Oh, this Marcel uh, City Multi Protection Tinted Cream SPF 25 in the shade Fair. Um, and the full size of this is $22. I did enjoy wearing it. I just, you can also wear it as your, um, your primer. And that's just how I tried it. And I've used this whole bottle. But um, if I were to wear it to myself, it didn't really balance out my complexion enough to the fact that I could just... You know, if I wanted to go make a quick run, if you're one of those people and you want to put on makeup real quick or something just to kind of tent or go to the pool, it wouldn't have worked for me. I mean, it just wouldn't. It wasn't that covering. And it's probably not supposed to be, but I'm just saying it wouldn't even even out. It didn't even like even me out, my skin tone or anything or my dark circles or whatever you want to say. Um, so I enjoyed using the product as like a primer, but I use e.l.f. as a primer six dollars twenty two dollars six dollars wins every time so um that is that the next up was the sand and sky australian pink clay the full size is brace yourselves forty nine dollars um i've enjoyed uh using it but it the next day my face is very very red um and kind of irritated looking so you know I don't know. I don't know. It's supposed to detoxify and brighten. If by brighten they mean redden, then they're on the money. Because that's what it did for me. And that was all of my October birch box. So now we'll move on to October um, boxy charm. Um, uh, the first thing on the list is this It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Black Mascara. And I enjoyed, I really have enjoyed using this. Um, it's not what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I probably should have put it on. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. I think it's a great product. Um, I mean, it's $24. So if you're into mascara in that price range, it would definitely be worth your 24 bucks. Um, oh gosh. Okay, this next product is this um, Dermovia Lace and Peel Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel-Off Mask. Oh, this sucker hurt. I put the charcoal on all over my face. Let me show you this, okay? It comes in this uh, little tube and you take the charcoal and you spread it. Definitely, I repeat, do not, because I accidentally got it in a little bit of my eyebrow and up here. 
do not, I repeat, please do not get this anywhere near your hair, okay? So you do this and you, this mask, I'm telling, this looks like I'm part of like some sort of a bondage, S&M, uh, something's going on, okay? It has these ear, of course it's not probably not going to stay on because I don't have the thing. So yeah, let me, it's got ear loops, okay? So here's an ear loop. Where's the other ear loop? Come on. Come on, my friend. There it is, okay? Yeah, okay? You put this like all on your charcoal thing, okay? And then for some reason, it's got a chin strap. Like why do you need a chin strap? So then it comes up like this and then it goes around your ears, the chin strap. This is how you look for, oh, I have to keep this on. 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I did 20 minutes, okay? And it does, it suctions itself to the entire uh, charcoal there. And you think, oh, well this must be, let's see how much this is, $30. This must be how rich people do their, I don't know. Either that or you're into some sort of um, S&M bondage, sexual fetishes. This is what this makes me feel like, okay? And so you think, okay, in 15, 20 minutes, I can take this off wrong. Like it's like a slow peel and you're like, oh, like it is stuck. It's like I had to rip this sucker off like, like a Band-Aid and it hurt so bad. If you're, hey, maybe that's part of the appeal. You know, like a little pain. This will deliver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got another one of those to try. You know, for next time I want to, like, peel my face off. Mm-mm. The next thing I got <clears throat> was this Pure, Pure the Complexion Authority Midnight Masquerade Palette for $38 is the MSRP on it. I love it. I absolutely love it. It really is an all-in-one except for like a base. I mean, it doesn't really have a light shade uh, for your eyeshadow. But literally, I could take this uh, traveling. I could You could take this anywhere and have everything that you need except for that little base thing because all these shades are beautiful. I've tried them all. I know that that looks really dark, but it's very pretty. The purple, the brown, I loved every shade um, and this is like I used this is like my bronzer I think it's a blush really I use it as my bronzer and then the I've used both um, as my blush well not together um, but you have to be very careful because a tiny tiny bit of any of this goes a long way and then I would use that as my highlight um, so I was really really impressed with this like, they did it right this time. I know the last one I, um, the pure one that I had, I, I wasn't, like, super thrilled with. But this, I really have enjoyed. And um, I honestly, if you had the money or if it was on sale, I would definitely recommend it. Because um, I was, I mean, I was really impressed. Um, the next thing I have is this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And I have the shade Mother. Um, and it's $20. Um, it's just this really pretty pink shade and it's actually the shade that I'm wearing right now. It dries down very quickly and it wears very, very well and it's comfortable on my lips. Um, so I've been super impressed with that. Um, I would buy more of them definitely. Um, if I had an extra 20 bucks for lipstick or lip product, um, but definitely check those out. This next product, I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. Sorry, my Moo Bear is like... Are you okay? I'm gonna make it, my baby. Okay, I love you. Um, Pharmacy Beauty Green Clean. It's um, a makeup remover, and it's twenty-two dollars. And you just um, just comes in. I know it's kind of dirty because my foundation and stuff was in there, but you just take a little bit and you rub it 
all over your face and it just the makeup just kind of melts away it washes right away it leaves my um, skin feeling very smooth and soft um, I mean it's I definitely recommend checking this stuff out again the price on that was $22 but it's so good I'm sure that there may be a cheaper product that works just as well um, but super impressed so October you did good I really have enjoyed um, October's box I don't really have that many complaints except for the uh, uh, face mask uh, lace lace appeal yeah lace appeal ah, like home alone where he goes ah, that's that would be the level of pain yes all right, so that's all I got. Those were October's products. Um, I look forward to trying out uh, November's and letting you know how those go. Um, you know, and I hope everybody is doing well and you have a great uh, upcoming week and weekend. And until, oh, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, refer a friend, refer 10 friends, 20 friends. You get the gif. Hit the like, subscribe down below. And as always, until next time, <laughs> peace, love, and hugs.